Hey guys, welcome back to Blake WRTV Kitchen. How are y'all doing this new year? Happy New Year! Um, comment in the comments what you guys did for the holidays. Let us know. Um, Chef Blake, what are you cooking this, this year, 2021? What are you starting the year off with? Okay guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for your introduction. T today guys, we are doing some pork, some pork shoulder, and um, we have some snapper right here, cut up snapper. As you can see, over here is the pork shoulder. We're gonna do some jerk pork with that. And over here we have croaker, the croaker. And this one is, uh, I believe it's a porgy right here. So we have two different, we have three different type of fish. We have the porgy, we have um, croaker, and red snapper. This is a red snapper. And over here we have the jerk pork. So that's it. We're gonna be doing some seasoning of the jerk pork. We're gonna put that, put that to itself. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the fish. Okay guys, so first thing we wanna do, we wanna take our nice piece of pork shoulder. This is really a nice cut, don't you think? Yeah. This is a really nice cut. And we're gonna wash this, guys. First you wanna give it the first wash. Then you wanna put the vinegar on it. And then here we have some vinegar. Just add, a, add a little vinegar on it. Maybe like about two tablespoons of vinegar. And have it soak for a little bit. Maybe soak it for like two minutes. So guys, we are just gonna scrape the skin a little bit. So this is a nice piece of pork shoulder, guy. Very nice, tender. Go and take, take the knife, put some hole to it. Cause we're not gonna cut it up. We put the hole in it so that means that we can get our season to go down into it. Nice and tenderized. So all you gotta do, put some hole into it. So why do we put the holes in the jerk pork? Okay, I put the hole into it because it helps to tenderize the meat, soften it up a little bit, so you can jerk faster and also let the seasoning when you season it mm -hmm. you allow the season to go down into the hole punch through the meat so you have a nicer taste jerk pork that makes sense now that you put punctured the holes into the meat what's next for you okay so now that's a scotch bonnet pepper as you can see okay that's a hot boy right there we're not going to cut the scotch bonnet pepper because we don't want it to be um, too hot. So we're going to leave it just like that. Okay. And here we have some thyme. This is good old Jamaican thyme right here. Mm -hmm. You know what the thyme does, right? Give it some flavor. Okay, and we need pimento. So we're looking for the pimento up here. Let's try to find that pimento. Okay, here it is. Okay, so here's my allspice, and what I want to do with my allspice, I want to come over here to my pot, and I have a pot with some water, this is just to scald my pork off. So what you do, you take a few of the allspice, drop them on top like that, you're going to give the pot a flavor, give it a good flavor, so that's my scalding pot. Then, got your pork, and... I'm gonna wait for the water to boil up a little bit and then we're gonna add it to it. Okay guys, so we have the pepper on the on the all spice. We're gonna drop in some garlic peg in here. I just wanna cut this because it's not gonna be in there for long, so let me just try to get all the potency. The flavors. The flavor in the water. So you can put it in without cutting it in now, but I think when you cut it, it it releases the garlics in the water faster. So I'm just gonna cut it. There we go.
What are you adding in now to our pot? So here we have the thyme. Mm -hmm. Get some more thyme right here. So we're gonna. This is a Jamaican thyme. It have a nice flavor to it. Smells real nice. So you take this and you add it to the water, just like that. And you wanna add a little salt into the water. So let me get the salt over here. So what does scalding it do to the pork? Okay, so when you scald the pork in in water like this, it tenderizes the the meat and help it to absorb the flavor of the all spice and other stuff that you put in here. Put a little bit more salt. Got a tablespoonful in here. Okay. So you see all of this right here? Mm -hmm. It's gonna absorb the seasoning and I'm gonna add I'm gonna add some more seasoning to the water. So I need some all purpose into it in there. So let me go ahead and find my all purpose seasoning. Okay, so here we are with some all purpose and we add the all purpose in here to give it some flavor. Come on, what's not going on? Let me open this some more. So just don't want to come out. So here we go. Here we go. That's all purpose right there. Mm -hmm. We'll give it a star. Incorporate Sorry. all of this flavor with the salt and the pepper and the all spice. And then we want it to boil a little bit more before we put the pork in it. Here's the pork right here. So how long should we boil it for? We are gonna boil this until it start to, you know, we call it bubble. Mm -hmm. Bubble them a bubble them a bubble. Very song. Bubble them a bubble. So when it start to bubble, you know what the pot bubbling look like? Yeah. Exactly. When it's hard to bubble, you see like a water bubble coming up. You can go ahead and put the pork into it. You understand? Okay. So in the meantime, we have the um, the pork. Is is um the water is boiling. We're gonna go ahead and get our fish, and we are gonna scale our fish. So let's put them in here. And this fish, right here, is a croaker crook, fish. fish. It's a nice size croaker. So we're gonna go ahead and scale it. And when you scale your fish, you wanna scale from where? The, the tail up. Yes, exactly. Because the scale started from the tail and it turns the opposite direction. Exactly. So by scaling from the tail towards the head to get the scale off. What's your favorite fish? Salmon. Salmon? Pink salmon. Okay, what about what type of um what type of what type of salmon you get in Alaska? There's a lot of salmon in Alaska, right? Um, is it pink salmon over there? Yeah. Or is it a different one? I think you're thinking of the Alaskan is it Alaskan bluefin tuna or something like that? No no no. It's, um it's a lot of a lot of um salmon comes from Alaska. I don't know what type of salmon they are, but there's a lot in Alaska. I know a lot of people drive all the way up to Alaska in the summertime and even in the wintertime mm -hmm. to go because the river is so much or the lake. So, guys, the pot is starting to bubble a little bit, so I think it's time to put in our pork. So, go ahead and give it a nice bat into that juice and we'll check back in five ten minutes guys we're gonna add a little bit of red crushed pepper give it a little kick not too pepperina but this kind of give it a little kick so just gonna put a little bit on it just like that yeah empty that out Give this one. The back fin. Alright, we're gonna cut the head off of this fish right up here.
Okay, so here we have our fish all nice and clean. Head is off. Our red snapper is there. So now it's time to season up these fish. First, I want to start off with a little black pepper. Oh, I forgot one thing. Here, we gotta do something with this fish. Gotta mark them. Is this to get the seasoning in the fish? Yeah. The thing with, um, I like tilapia, I like the taste, but trust me, it's not the most meaty fish you can find. That's the way to get the, the seasoning. So here, cut, the cut in here, put like two cuts. So your season can get down in it. This fish have a more meat to it than the um this one has more meat. Mm -hmm. You can tell. There's more meat to this fish than the other one, the, the cooker. So it's time for us to go ahead and season them up now. So let me wash. Start off with some fish season here. I like to season my fish over the pan, you know, because that means if my seas are fall, it catches. it's caught in the, yeah, exactly. I like to season it over the pan. There we go. This one is the croaker. I get the season in it. Down in the and slits. We are using the Grace traditional fish season right here. Mm -hmm. And um just wanna lightly go over it with the season, just like that. Here we have our red snapper. So what's your favorite kind of fish? This right here. Snapper? I like, I like snapper. Snapper is my favorite fish and um doctor fish. There's a fish called Doctor Fish. If you don't know what it is, you can you can Google it. It's called Doctor Fish. It's wow, that fish is so nice. Especially when you do okra. Doctor Fish with some good okra and stuff on that. Some rice and peas and you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Jamaican style. You know what things that are ready. You know Jamaican know if season up them thing nice so it tastes good. Real authentic style, you know what I mean? Some people can cook it, you know, but not everybody food tastes the same. So I'll, it's a lot to do with the seasoning and how you do it, you understand? Yeah. This is the fish head. A lot of people don't like the fish head, but some people do. So, you know, the fish head, them say it's good for you because it has a lot of omega-3, especially in the eyes. So some people do like the head, but if you don't like the head, you eat the tail. <laughs> So here we are with some black pepper guys, we'll go ahead and put a little bit of black pepper on the fish as well. You can just go lightly with the black pepper, you don't want to go too hard. Slightly over your snapper and everything, just like that. And here we have some, some dash season right here, table blend style. This season is very good, I like it. Put a little bit on the fish. Give it an extra boost, a little more flavor burst in your mouth when you're eating it. And your serving of your fish can be used with rice, whatever you want to serve your fish with. You can even eat your fish without anything, just the fish alone. So what's your favorite seasoning to work with? My favorite season? I like, well, I like the Grace Fish Season, the one I used earlier. It has a nice flavor to it. And this is some Old Bay. Mm -hmm. There's some Old Bay also have a kick to it. So this is good as well. And your all-purpose season same way. Mm -hmm. The garlic right here. Put a little bit of garlic season on them. Then we're gonna go ahead and rub that in. You know, wow, you smell that? Yeah, it smells amazing. Can't wait to fry them. Yep. So here we are, guys, with some red onion. And onion, we're just gonna cut the onion and put it, throw it on top of our fish. We put some um, all-purpose in there, so the all-purpose is giving a nice kick. 
and the onion is on top just like that here we have some thyme some good nice flavor thyme just drop your thyme on top and then like before we have our scotch bonnet pepper just wash wash the scotch bonnet pepper just like that and then just drop it on top of your fish just like that so guys here we are with our our jerk pork and we are scalding it mm -hmm. to get the flavor in it we put all the flavor you saw we put in earlier and we're gonna go ahead about this time we probably can take it out it's been scalding for about how long now about five to ten minutes about yeah so seven eight minutes all right so it's probably can take out now and cut up and season up and you know everything set already jamaican style so we're gonna take this out the pot right now shake off all the juice off of it it's nice and juicy you know if you're cooking soup if, if, if you have if, if you like pork soup mm -hmm. this this water right here this water with you know with all the flavor and everything yeah. perfect for make soup if you like soup but we're not going to use that come over here all right we're on the board now guys and this is when chef blake gets down let me get my thing So how did you learn to cook anyways? Well, you know, sir, cooking, running out of the family, you know what I mean? My my grandfather, my great-grandfather was a busher. You understand? He used to busher meat mm -hmm. in Jamaica, so he's a busher by trade. All type of animal, cows, goat, anything you can think of. His, his main job was bushering, you understand? Yeah. My grandmother. It's a good cook. I grew up with her, learn how to cook from her, and then when I get older, I went to Jamaica to get my food handlers in Jamaica as I was working in a restaurant. I need to get that. You understand? And I've been cooking in Jamaica for a long time. So cooking is just easy to me, just natural. You understand? Yeah. I've been cooking for many, many years. So cooking is natural thing, good authentic Jamaican cuisine. Been doing this many many years. Real Jamaican food, you know. Smells amazing. Yeah, pork smells good. Okay, so we're gonna take this up now. I'm gonna put them into this. Put all the pieces in here. So we're gonna do all our seasoning right in here. So we can put the board over here so we can get this out of the way. And water run over this. And then give him a rag. Okay guys, so first thing we're gonna put on is some garlic. Garlic, right. And the garlic you just wanna put enough on it. Not not too heavy. Just enough. Adequate amount. So if you don't know what they look like, this is probably like a quarter spoonful or something like that. But Put a black pepper on it, just like that. Here we have our where this dash yeah. right here. Put the dash on, and that's that for that. These are our jerk seasoning, guys. Put some jerk seasoning on here. We we'll rub it in, just like that. We're we'll marinating. Jerk season. Put this on it. This is an authentic seasoning. So it's like about a spoonful or so. Mm -hmm. Here we are, guys. The jerk is almost finished. Now, this. So, it's, what we're going to do? Get a little bit of water in here and just cock it back. Mm -hmm. Just like that, because you want to get all your jerk out of it. Just shake it up. These jerks normally cost about $350 to $4. In the store so you can grab one of this or you can make your own jerk season at home if that's what you rather do it so at this point now guys you can go in and do a little stir incorporate all your seasoning around into your meat at this stage just like that and one more thing you want to put in your allspice on it at this time. Here is your allspice. 
Get a few beads. Get a few beans. About this much. Spoil me. A little bit if you like your hard spice. And this time, I'm gonna go in with my hand mm -hmm. and then mix it with my hand at this stage. So we get it in the meat. Yeah, when you use your hand to mix it, mm -hmm. you get to squeeze the, the juices in. Yeah, you get to squeeze the season and the herbs and everything into the meat. So you get a nice taste. You can taste real like jerk, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you, use your, if you use a spoon to just flip it around, it doesn't taste the same as if you rub it in yourself with your, with your hand. The hand is always a better choice. You guys, you guys can smell this right now. It smells so good. Almost good enough to eat right now. <laughs> yeah, that pork is looking good. So here we're going to pour some whole chew here. I want all the juice to go straight through. Punch some hole in here. Just like that. Oh. And here we have a pan on at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So the pan. When I catch the oil. Yeah, everything gonna come straight through. We have some hole in here. Mm -hmm. See the holes? Yeah. And then we put it on here. So you see the holes on here? Yeah. Okay. So the holes now is gonna have allow everything to go straight through here. So put as many holes as you can in here. And then now, so the engine gonna stick, take a little bit of cooking spray, and the spray this right up here. And then now, you get a nice delicious pork, look at that. Wow. Look at that pork, like you can eat already, don't it? Yeah. That pork smells so good, you can smell the aroma coming out of here, everything smells so palatable. All right, right here, just line your pork on top of here. Just like that. Line them up nicely. This is called oven style jerk pork. Okay. Putting your pieces of pork in here. And the smell is just really, really killing me right now. Guys, if you guys can try this right now, you guys would have killed this. You understand? Mm -hmm. The aroma coming out of this little pan right here. So much deliciousness right here. Jamaican style jerk pork. Okay guys, we'll put this in the oven at 350 degrees and let it stay up in that joint for about 35 minutes. We're gonna check on it. Okay guys, so a while ago you saw us put the um the jerk the jerk pork in the in the oven no but bin. One thing we forgot to put on is the ginger, okay? Mm -hmm. You can either put the powder ginger, this is a powder form, or you can use the ginger root and cut it up and put it on it. Whichever one you want to use, any one you can use. The ginger root is much stronger, powder form is much lighter. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to make a glaze. We're going to make a glaze to glaze them down. And with this glaze, we're going to add the ginger. Just like that with the glaze. So we put in like, what we call it? About a half a teaspoon. Right, to make the glaze. Um, jerk, barbecue sauce to make the glaze. I incorporate a little bit of honey. And a little bit of this in there. About that much, not too much, because we already have some leftover sauce. <laughs> and we're going to add, this is honey, guys. Okay. This is the honey. We're going to add like a tablespoon full of honey in it. So... Let's go ahead and do that right now. So, what is that tablespoon? Tablespoon. Yes. Yeah. So, just add a tablespoon of honey in here. Just like that. I'm going to mix that in. That's going to make the glaze. Mm -hmm. Just going to add a little bit of garlics. Cut up garlics. Gloves on here. And the fish. Hey guys, we're getting ready to fry the fish. So, we're going to go ahead and add some oil in this frying thing right here. I just want to get enough oil in there. Vegetable oil. That should be good. We add in some vegetable oil in there. You can use any oil you want. Okay, so, guys, a while ago, I got to explain something to you guys. When I first scaled my fish and started seasoning them up, 
before you season your fish guys always to take some paper towel and pat the fish dry take your fish and pat them dry get all the water all the moist off your fish before you season them up if you pat your fish dry with a paper towel before you season them up it will allow your fish to fry without sticking in the pot you don't want any water any juice any moist on your fish when you start to season them up so i made a mistake not really a mistake i just forgot to pot them dry so now i have to go use some flour so they don't stick but first let's put a scotch bonnet in the oil okay guys so because i didn't pot the fish dry i have to use this flour to take the moist from the fish you can skip this step if you pot your fish dry after you scale them okay guys this is this this is the part that we're gonna correct from not patting our fish dry we're getting some flour and what you want to do you want to lightly just put a little bit of flour over your fish not too much try to get the moist off of them you're not doing it heavy just really lightly get all the the moist just like that now, like I said before guys I can't emphasize how important it is to pot the fish dry after you finish wash and scale them very very important that's a, that's a step you don't want to skip because if you skip that step you have to go put some type of fish fry flour or the regular flour like I'm using here to get rid of all of that moist because you want your fish to be dry like this avoid sticking in the pot mm -hmm. so here we are now we get our fish dry and we could have avoided this if we had done this earlier so now the pot is hot and we're gonna go ahead and lay our fish in just like that okay guys so you want to move the fish lift it up and put it back down lift it up get that hot oil to permeate on the bottom of the fish put it back make sure it's not sticking in the pot shouldn't be sticking with the flour on it but the reason why fish come out the pot stick it's because moist is on the fish. This is our other fish guys. Take a little bit of flour and just rub it over it lightly. Just like that. And remember you don't want any excess flour to be on it. You just want a little bit of flour to remove the moist from the fish. You shouldn't be able to get your fish to come out nice and golden brown. It's very tasty and palatable. Yes, guys, Chef Blake is in the kitchen. And you know when I'm cooking something, I'm always sizzling. That's what we talk about. Wow, it smells good smell over here. Okay, so, as you can see, does it smell good? Yeah, it smells good. Right. Yeah, it does smell good. I can smell that fish. The croaker? Yeah, croaker fish. Now, now we're going to go ahead and put this one in. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna lay it this way, right there. There we go. The fish are coming along, guys. It's time to check on our pork. So let's grab some gloves here. Come on, on, on. And check on our pork. Wow. How that long until it's done? Here we go. Looks good. How long until it's done? Now a few more minutes. Wow, look at it. It's so brown and colorful. Yeah, this is our like pork. like fish over here. Flip them over a little bit. Give them the texture on the other side. Let me get something to do. Let me flip them over. You can get even layer, just like that. Oh, I was really good in here. Mm -hmm. So what are you thinking of making to go with it? 
Yeah. So preference. The preference is limitless. What would you like? Um maybe some rice or I'm having a lot of rice lately. I've been, or something. I've been trying to trying to cut back on rice. How's that look? Prince has some sweet potatoes in Oh, it's yeah. my jerk pork look. It looks very good. Look what do you think? Of. Is it done? No, we have to put it back in the oven no, for another... No, put it up for another 15, 20 minutes. I think our fish is done now. fish? Yeah, the fish um almost is finished. So we're going to go ahead back and put our pork oven. back in the oven. So mm -hmm. pork guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pork. Put our pork back in there. Okay guys, time for us to take out our fish. Bring it off over here. Another one in here. Okay, my fish is done. Okay. This one done already? Yeah, I think so. Just flip it and pick it out so you can see. Let's check it right here. I think my, this one gonna go a little longer. Give it up. Let me make my size here a little bit. Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Yeah. Uh, this, why is this bad boy up? Golden brown. Right over here. Alright, looking good. We're going to go ahead and put in. Move this out the way. Right over there. Get my flower back up here. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the snapper. So I'm gonna snapper right here. Put a little flow on them. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, time to level it off in the pot now. You ready? Yes. Get going. Smelling good. This is a snapper tail over there. Another snapper tail again. You know, it's the favorite part of the fish for me. The tail? The tail is my favorite part of the fish. I like the tail. Some people like the straight cut of the fish, like this part right here. The middle. middle yeah, the middle thing. cut, yeah. They call it like a straight cut from the fish. Mm -hmm. This is your favorite part? Yes. I really? Like, I like the medium. Okay, this is my next part of the snapper. Over here. Take your space in your kingdom. Alright, so we have a fish head. Many, many people don't like fish head. I don't know why, because I like fish head. I mean there's not that much meat fish. <laughs> I like the omega-3 in it. it. For me, it's not so much about the meat. It's about getting my omega-3. Especially when you, you eat was... the, the eyeballs. Hmm? Yep. I eat the eyeballs. What does it taste like? Tastes like an eyeball. What does the eyeball taste like? Eyeball tastes like an eyeball. You want to try it? No, no. <laughs> Guys, if y'all like fish head, comment under the video. Let me know if you guys like the fish head. Tell me if this is your favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead guys, don't be shy, leave your comment. So we're gonna cut it. Cut it in two, put it in here. That's where we go. Wash our carrot. Get the water up and running. And then like always, a little bit of vinegar in it. Sterilize the thing then with some vinegar. What do you have in this basket? Alright, so in this little 
vegetable basket we have pretty much every little thing in here we have carrot we have bell pepper we have red chili pepper jalapeno I love seeing red jalapeno red jalapeno this is red one and the okra so yeah everything in here very good and we're gonna use the onion but we don't want to put everything in here at the same time so let's just wash these first I like to scrape the carrot you know just give it a little scrape yeah I like to scrape my carrot this is the other one just like that I don't peel it don't scrape it okay just like that this is my now wash it some more time. Get the seed out of it. This one is too. I get the seed out of that one. Get the seed out of it. Right here. Then we're gonna wash it one more time again. Get the seed out of it. Jalapeno. Red one. Never seen a red jalapeno. Never seen a red jalapeno before. I thought this was a chili pepper. Red one. Chili pepper is a little different. It's like small and curly. Mm -hmm. Aqua has, has a lot of benefits. Mm -hmm. So we got our jerk pork out and we're just adding our glaze seasoning sauce. Mm -hmm. Glaze sauce. It's pretty much a jerk sauce really. And we also have our fish done over here. Look at how brown and nicely even they look. So what are your plans for tonight's dinner? Well, we have a lot of plans. We're going to think about cooking some rice, some yam, some food, some green bananas, some fried plantains. Everything is in the works. Okay. Coming up. I'm excited. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Like back in the days, don't touch that dial. Keep the thing going. Remember to share, like, and comment on the video. Give me some thumbs up. Don't be too skinny with the thumbs up. Thumbs up the video, guys. Slices or yeah, so I'll cut them in half, just like that. Move this part out. This part is not good. Spray with some olive oil. Put in our onions first. Caramelize them a little. So that your fire is turned down. Mm 
just going to let these onions caramelize a little bit along with our green peppers. Red pepper. Red pepper. Or the jalapenos. Red jalapeno. Red jalapeno. Red jalapeno. Red jalapeno. This is red pepper. And, and next are Carrot. bell peppers and our carrots. <coughs> carrots. Some more carrots. Here we have. And lastly, we have okra. our okra. Just gonna let these vegetables steam down a little, and we'll be back. Some all purpose. All spice. Yeah, bean in here. Put a few of them in there. Remove that. And here we're gonna put some black pepper. Just a little bit of black pepper. Let's go light with the black pepper, not too spicy. And then you wanna put some all pepper season. I'm gonna go light with the all pepper season as well. There you go. You have your original dash. Light the season, give it a good taste. Season really give your food that nice palatable taste. Need some help? Flavor some. There we go. Put a little bit of that in there. Here, cover this back up. Here guys, we're gonna add a coconut milk. This we're using the grace. And this is um, 13.53 full ounces. So 400 milliliter. milliliter. That's what we're gonna add in there. Pouring our coconut milk straight from the can, guys. Just like that. Coconut milk is in. There we go. Okay, guys, thank you for hanging with us today. You know what I mean. So, at this point, guys, we have chisel for dizzle. Let's go check out what chicken. No, chicken? we ain't cooking no chicken. <laughs> Fish? Yeah, we cooking fish, guys. You know we ain't cooking no chicken. All right, guys. There we go. Lift the pot cover off. That smell that hit me a while ago when I removed the pot cover. Oh my gosh, I can feel it from a mile away. It smells so palatable. Flavor some. That's what we're talking about. Good coconut milk with healthy recipe vegetable. You know what I'm talking about. You know Chef Blake always got it going. All right, guys. So here we are with some nice fish. So at this point, we are gonna submerge our fish in our. Could I cut them fish in every one, don't it? Of course. Could I cut them up and make them more manageable? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna cut them up, guys. We decide to cut up our fish at this point. So let's get the cutting board. Okay, guys, we're gonna take our fish and we're gonna extend it over here on the cutting board. Now this time we're gonna do slices. We're gonna slice our fish. Straight down into the bone. This one right here. Slice our fish straight through the bone. There we go. Look at that. Now, here's how it's getting now. We're going to take this now. And we're going to put this in our nice coconut milk over here. Try to get it up. Look at that over there. Off the board. Look at that right there. Mm, Look at yummy. That. All right, guys. This is our this is our red snapper. Take the red snapper. I will dip it down in coconut juice, guys. Let me tell you something. If you never try coconut milk with your with your with your fish, you need to get some snapper and dip it down in your coconut milk just like this. This is snapper tail right here. Dip that bad boy down into it like that. Right here we have a, we have the croaker. This is the croaker, guys. Ooh. Put the croaker on the cutting board. And right here, we are gonna cut up this bad boy right here. It's a big fish. So we're gonna cut it straight down. Just like that. Cut it down. Just like get up center board out. Out the way. We're gonna cut it down right in the center bone like that. 
It's a tailpiece right here. Cut the tailpiece right down. Open it up like like. There we go. Look at that, guys. That's a nice fish. So, take it up like this and bring it over your pot and dip it down in your coconut juice just like that. Guys, I wish you guys could taste this right now to see what I'm talking about. That is one of the most palatable, flavorsome fish you will ever have right here. Try the coconut milk along with the carrot. Look at all that. Good niceness on top. Just throw it over it. You can take your okra on your, your stuff and throw them on top if you, if you like it like that. What do you think about that, Alexia? I think it looks good and I really would like to take a piece. <laughs> you want to take a piece? Yes. Mm, right, let, let me finish first. Okay. <laughs> mm, let me get all this off the board. <clears throat> it tastes so good. My gosh. Okay, guys. So Alexia mm. is going to try the um, fish head. What do you think about the taste? Yummy. It's delicious, guys. This fish is tastes so good. She's eating off that fish off the bone like <laughs> there's no tomorrow. Look at that. Talk about fish. Talk about taste. That fish is golden brown. Look over here, guys. It's just getting started. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Trust me, I have to put this on Twitter and Instagram. This has to be on Twitter and Instagram, guys, on Facebook. This is too good to be true. Look at that. Escovich style fish, guys. This is how it's all get down. That is just irresistible. Oh my gosh. Coconut milk, guys. Vegetable. Escovich style. Sit in coconut milk. It doesn't get any better than this. Snapper. Croaker. We have three different type of fish in this one pot. Tell me. It doesn't get any better than this. Okay, Alexia. What do you think about your fish? I need another piece. You need another piece? <laughs> oh, man. If you don't stop eating, we ain't going to have none left. Yes, guys. The food is ready. Our cooking tutorial is done. At this point, we're wrapping up the video for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like from the end. Here we are, guys. This is our Jamaican jerk pork oven style. Take a good look at it. See if I can zoom down a little bit so they can see it. There you go. All right, so you see it's glazed. It's nice. It's juicy. It's tasteable. It's palatable, guys. It's just mouth watering. Falling off the bone right here. Earlier, Alexia, try some. What do you think about it? I think it tastes really good. Yeah, it was delicious, guys. I tried it myself, and I couldn't say it's better for myself. Over here, there we are. This is a whole pot of Escovich fish. Jamaican style. Red snapper, porgy, and croaker fish. Three in one combination. You never see anything like this before. I guarantee there's no other video like this on YouTube. Three in one Escovich. Here over here, guys, we have... The food, this is the food pot. That's what it looks like. So if you never have Jamaican dumpling, yam and banana and all them good stuff, this is the pot with all the food in there. Still bubbling up on the stove, so we have to turn the fire out because it's done, it's cooked. So, we are going to go ahead and make a plate. We have a fork and we have a plate right here. So first thing we're going to do, I love dumpling. For some reason, I don't know why, but I just love dumpling. What do you think about yourself? Yeah, I love dumpling. Dumpling is my I favorite. love dumpling. And to go along with my dumpling, I'm going to take a piece of white yam. Oh, man, my yam just drop and burst. Can't believe, guys, my, my nice piece of yam just, just break. Probably was cooking a long time. Here, guys, is the Jamaican green bananas. And how we do it, we just go ahead and take it, take it up the skin. Or right, the peel. Whatever you call it, skin peel, and it's breaking too. Everything is cooked all the way through. I'm gonna take two bananas, green green bananas. You cook it in the in the peel, and you just roll it out just like that. That is your Jamaican 
green bananas and the reason why we eat green bananas is take a break from the rice we eat a lot of rice so having some bananas i'm trying to find a piece of yam in here this is a potato what is this a yam is that yam or potato whatever that is that it could be a yam or potato guys but it's a lot of food in the pot i'm just making a plate for myself first thing first let's go and try that jerk pork, pork. so we are gonna get that jerk pork so let's take a piece up this piece look good right yeah nice piece of jerk pork right here we're gonna go ahead and put it right here in the plate i just want one piece right now and over here guys as you can see some space for some fish this is a pot Oh my gosh. What should I get? Red snapper? Guys, I'm going to go ahead with a piece of red snapper. This is a nice slice of red snapper. Right here. Cooked down with coconut milk. And now the goody goody. That's what they call it in Jamaica. Goody goody. And here is the nice juice, guys. Look at that. Aphrodisiac right here. Let's pour that in on my some more juice. Put it over. Somebody's trying to steal my jerk pork over here. It's just they just can't wait. It tastes so good. There we go, guys. Let me get some okra. I like okra in us. So some people don't like okra, but for me, I like okra. So let me get a few more okra. I like my okra. Give me my Jamaican okra. Coconut milk and okra. There we go. There we go, guys. So me have my jerk pork. My red snapper fish, my yam and banana, my good stuff. So yeah, here it is, guys, over here. You can take a good look at it. Right now, I've been cooking for a while, so you know I'm hungry. And everybody, get ready to eat. A lot of food is here. So, let me test it and tell you what it tastes like. We haven't done a mukbang in a while. Mmm. This thing is tastes good. <clears throat> my gosh guys yo you know what sooner or later I'm gone I have to go <laughs> eat my food <laughs>